It goes without saying that agriculture is the backbone of Kenya's economy. However, not many youth are interested or look forward to engaging in ag agricultural activities for a living. A group of youth from Matthias constituency has braved the challenge and decided to follow the proverbial B. And as Zakias Masame reports, the youth are raking in a fortune from, get this, apiculture. This is happening at Ibugengi village in Matai's constituency. The youth group, which majorly deals with beekeeping, has braved all the challenges to sustainably run their project under the name Wonder Bee. We started as a hobby after I finished uh, Baraka Agricultural College where I pursued a certificate in beekeeping. So after my studies in uh, apiculture, we wanted to confirm and to put uh, on the ground what, we had, uh, what I had learned. And uh, we started by assisting farmers who had a uh, wild swarm. Izi Nyuki Ambazo, Wanaziko Committee and Mayambe, people were burning. And we thought that uh, we need to keep this peace. After selling honey for some time, they decided to move a step higher by venturing into production of body jelly, soap, and even wine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as the group CEO Bernard Ojambo narrates, the project has not only necessitated value addition but also provided employment to tens of youths across Western Kenya. We wanted to show the youths of this uh, great country and uh, also the county of Busia that uh, we can uh, employ ourselves because there are lot of, lots of opportunity in agribusiness and uh, apiculture being one of them. There is a big space and then uh, we can we can uh, employ ourselves. So we are doing value addition. So from the honey, we are making honey wine. Then from beeswax, we are making beeswax herbal soap and beeswax body cream. Other products from, from hive, from a beehive we can get, we have royal jelly, we have bee venom, we have uh, pollen, we have propolis, but we are more concentrated on uh, beeswax and honey. In bees already aware that we're here. Although Wonder Bee possesses a number of beehives, it also depends on the supply of honey from farmers in Siaya, Baringo, Nakuru, Bungoma and Kakamega counties with an intention to expand its territory further. Wonder Bee CEO has a message to the government. If maybe you are uh, you are giving youth loan and then uh, it's uh, then maybe they go with the money. Think of how you can assist the youths. I've been seeing some organizations, they not give you in form of cash, they can give you in form of machines. So if you give me beehives, I won't run away because I must take care of the beehives. Zaki Sumasame, NTV, Busia.